Hey guys, Danny here today to talk to you about a health and nutrition book that one is a follow-up to a earlier book that I posted a review on, but more importantly, is a good enough book that starting Thursday, my wife and I are going to follow his program to the letter. Now, this video is going to post next Monday. We start on Thursday, which means by the time you see this video, we will have already started on this program. And it also means if over the next few weeks or months, you start, I need to let some air in here, it's getting hot in here. You start seeing me looking more ripped and buffed and sexy, you'll know why. Although I'm sure you're sitting there going, how could he possibly look sexier than he already does? I agree with you. It, it's hard to think of something that is just more amazing than my good looks. I can think of one thing though that is more amazing than my good looks. That is my humility. I must say, if there's anything I'm the most proud of, it's my humility. Yes. Now to the book. Sorry, a little bit of humor there. But before I get to the book, I do have a favor to ask actually. If you're an audiobook lover, please subscribe. Turn on notifications and join me on my audiobook journey. Now, the book I'm talking about is Live It, Not Diet. It is the follow-up to the book Eat Meat and Stop Jogging. In fact, the author makes it very clear in the beginning of this book that Eat Meat and Stop Jogging is a prerequisite to this book. And I can tell you right now, that is not just the author's attempts to sell two of his books. The, you do need to listen to Eat Meat and Stop Jogging before you listen to this book. The, the reason is, is any time in Live It Not Diet, it touches on something that was covered in Eat Meat and Stop Jogging. Rather than repeating himself, rather than rehashing all of the information that came out in Eat Meat and Stop Jogging, what the author does is the author tells you, hey, I've already talked about this in Eat Meat and Stop Jogging. If you want information on it, check out chapter so-and-so of Eat Meat and Stop Jogging. Stop Jogging, which is nice because it gets old when authors just rehash the same information over and over again. Now, the author starts out talking about the, the science and, and the harm done by high high carb diets and the science behind that the, the book isn't full of you know stories this person followed my program and had these amazing results you know <clears throat> they became a millionaire and, and lost 150 pounds and married Miss America or anything like that it, it, everything is backed up by science not by stories of incredible results or anything like that but he starts off explaining the harm that high carb diets do he then gets into the benefits of a low-carb, high-meat diet and the science behind it. And then he starts into his program. There's two phases to his program. The first phase is 21 days long. And he goes through. And each chapter is a different principle that, that it's based off of. So principle one, principle two, principle three, principle four, all the way. I don't remember how many principles there are, but all the way up. Then he goes into the specific rules after he gives the principles. And with the principle, he explains the reasoning behind the principle, which is where, you know, he'll explain the reasoning behind it. And, and rather than repeating something from Eat Meat and Stop Jogging, he'll just tell you to go find that book. And then he gets into the specific rules and explanations of the 21-day phase. There's a principle and a part of the 21 day phase as well as a part of phase two where believe it or not there, there's actually a little bit of um, I don't know as I'd say mature content that comes into play but but he, he deals with the topic of nuts and, and he makes jokes about nuts that you know um, th there's only one that it's really clear what he's talking about and then he's talking about having to soak nuts and he mentions that he's heard that it's bad for sperm count. Otherwise, they're more along the lines of not what you're thinking. It's, it's this kind of a thing. More innuendo than actual jokes. But it is 
it is definitely in there. He, he goes through phase one and gives all of the rules and everything about phase one. And then after phase one, he goes into phase two, which is the, the, the long-term maintenance phase because you wouldn't want to live with phase one. It's a 21-day phase, and, and he makes it very clear. If you fall off the wagon in that 21-day phase, then you don't just pick yourself back up and get up on the wagon. You pick yourself up and start all over again. It's back to square one. Now, like I said, my wife and I have decided that come Thursday, she's been wanting to do a, a diet like this, a, a ketogenic diet, which is what this is supposed to do, is put you into ketosis. And the, the ketogenic diets that she's brought home to me were, were diets that I wasn't willing to follow because they were nothing but fats. You even try to avoid protein and, and you definitely avoid any and all vegetables and, and carbs. And the one, they sounded horrible. <clears throat> and two, they didn't sound healthy to me. This one sounds very healthy to me. It sounds like it would actually be easy to follow, especially once you get to phase two. There, there's some changes to it. Um, for instance, vegetables. He, he, he doesn't demonize vegetables. He makes it very clear in phase one. I got a truck pulling at him on my half an hour break at a truck stop right now. He, he makes it very clear in phase one. No fruit with the exception of avocados, tomatoes, and olives. But other than that, absolutely no fruit. And the only vegetables, he actually starts one of the principles off like this. The only vegetables are raw form vegetables, which kind of threw me at first. I thought he meant, you know, you could only eat vegetables raw and... I happen to know that there are certain vegetables like broccoli, you can eat it raw, it won't hurt you any, but you don't get near the, the nutrient absorption from raw broccoli that you do from cooked broccoli. It, it breaks some things down and make them easier to digest. So I was like, oh, I don't know if I like that. But he goes on to explain that that's not what he means. He means something entirely different when he talks about only raw form vegetables. And you'll have to listen to the book if you want to know exactly what he's talking about. In phase two, <clears throat> of course, he loosens the, the strings a little bit, and, and he pretty much requires you to have a cheat day in phase two. But there are rules to the cheat day. The rules are not, hey, you can't have cake and sugar. You can eat seven cakes in that one day if you want to. But he quotes some studies which have shown that, that if you do certain things on your cheat days, it actually ramps up your metabolism rather than hurting it. And I'm very anxious to get through the 21 days and, and try that out and see if it works. He covers intermittent fasting and how to use intermittent fasting when you're in phase two, which I've been an intermittent faster off and on. I like the idea of intermittent fasting. I think there are certain benefits from, you know, books like The Obesity Code and other books make it very clear that there are definite health benefits that you can only get from fasting. So I like that. So that's why, like I said, it's it's not just nothing but fats or nothing but meats. It's a well-rounded diet that's supposed to put your body into ketosis. You've got the short 21 day very rigid phase to, to switch over your eating habits and get your body switched into ketosis and then you have a very manageable I, I don't expect it to be difficult to manage at all you know maintenance phase that you follow for the rest of your life so like I said if you start seeing my, my cheeks I, I actually have very high cheekbones you can't tell it because I've put on a good bit of extra weight and so my face is always super fat with it but when that disappears, you may go, wow, if dude's actually got cheekbones in there. We're going to give it a try and see. If you like my video, please hit the like button. If you like this channel, subscribe. Turn on notifications. Questions, comments, feedback, it's what the comment section is for. But most importantly, no matter what else you do today, make sure that today you listen to at least one really good audio book. I definitely recommend first eat meat and stop jogging followed by live it not diet thank you